Hello guys welcome to my new video, so in today's video I am going to talk about top 10 anime where the main character is an overpowered transfer student. If you like the video hit the like button and subscribe for more. Shokuji Kino Soma in this anime story ever since he was a child, 15 year old Soma Yukihara has helped his father by working as the sous chef in the restaurant his father runs and owns. Throughout the years, Soma developed a passion for entertaining his customers with his creative, skilled, and daring culinary creations. His dream is to someday own his family's restaurant as its head chef. Yet when his father suddenly decides to close the restaurant to test his cooking abilities in restaurants around the world, he sends Soma to Tutsuki Culinary Academy, an elite cooking school where only 10% of the students graduate. The institution is famous for its shokujiki or food wars, where students face often intense, high-stakes cooking showdowns. As Soma and his new schoolmates struggle to survive the extreme lifestyle of Tutsuki, more and greater challenges await him, putting his years of learning under his father to the test. Kiroko no Basket in this anime story could junior high school's basketball team is crowned champion three years in a row thanks to five outstanding players who, with their breathtaking and unique skills, leave opponents in despair and fans in admiration. However, after graduating, these teammates, known as the Generation of Miracles, go their separate ways and now consider each other as rivals. At Shrin High School, Two newly recruited freshmen prove that they are not ordinary basketball players, Taiga Kagami, a promising player returning from the US, and Tatsuya Kuroko, a seemingly ordinary student whose lack of presence allows him to move around unnoticed. Although Kuroko was neither athletic nor able to score any points, he was a member of Taku's basketball team, where he played as the phantom sixth man, who easily passed the ball and assisted his teammates. Kiroko no Basket follows the journey of Srin's players as they attempt to become the best Japanese high school team by winning the Inter High Championship. To reach their goal, they have to cross pathways with several powerful teams, some of which have one of the five players with godlike abilities, whom Kiroko and Tiger make a pact to defeat. Kill La Kill in this anime story after the murder of her father, Ruko Mito has been wandering the land in search of his killer. Following her only lead, the missing half of his invention, the scissor blade, she arrives at the prestigious Ha Uji Academy, a high school unlike any other. The academy is ruled by the imposing and cold-hearted student council president Satsuki Kuri Uu and alongside her powerful underlings, the Elite Four. In the school's brutally competitive hierarchy, Satsuki bestows upon those at the top special clothes called Gaku uniforms, which grant the wearer unique superhuman abilities. Thoroughly beaten in a fight against one of the students in uniform, Ruko retreats to her raised home where she stumbles across Senkutsu, a rare and sentient kami, or god clothes. After coming into contact with Ruko's blood, Senkutsu awakens, latching onto her and providing her with immense power. Now, armed with Senkutsu and the scissor blade, Ruko makes a stand against the Elite Four, hoping to reach Satsuki and uncover the culprit behind her father's murder once and for all. Full Metal Panic. In this anime story equipped with cutting-edge weaponry and specialized troops, a private military organization named My Thrill strives to extinguish the world's terrorism and all threats to peace on Earth. The organization is powered by the Whispered, individuals who possess intuitive knowledge and the remarkable ability to create powerful devices and machinery. 17-year-old Sukhsagra, a sergeant working for My Thrill has been assigned to protect Kane Mkhtadori, a whispered candidate. He is ordered to join her high school class and be as close to her as possible to prevent her from falling into enemy hands, that is, if he can safely blend in with their fellow classmates without revealing his true identity. Suk, who was raised on a battlefield and has very little knowledge of an average high school student's lifestyle, must adapt to a normal school life to safeguard Kane. However, Enemy forces have already begun making their move, and Suk is about to find out that the adversary coming for the Whispered Girl may be a lot more familiar than he expects. Kyushin Eureka 7 In this anime story in the backwater town of Bell Forest lives a 14-year-old boy named Renton Thurston. 
he desires to leave his home behind and join the mercenary group known as Gekka State, hoping to find some adventure to brighten up his mundane life. However, stuck between his grandfather's insistence to become a mechanic like him and the pressure of his deceased father's legacy, the only excitement Renton finds is in his pastime of riding the Trapar wave particles that are dispersed throughout the air, an activity akin to surfing. Everything changes when an unknown object crashes through Renton's garage, discovered to be a light-finding operation, a robot capable of riding the Trapar waves, specifically known as the Nervash Type Zero. Its pilot is a young girl named Eureka, a member of the Gek Estate, who requests a tune-up for the Nervash. Their meeting sparks the beginning of Renton's involvement with the Gek Estate as he takes off alongside Eureka as the co-pilot of the Nervash. Balnan knows Amdu in this anime story Sin Island is a small island surrounded by the Uden Sea. It exists in a state of dreamlike tranquility, cut off from the war between the northern government and the southern continent free zone. Our hero, Akiuki Takehara, lives on Sentane Island along with his mother Fusa. He is currently separated from his father, the town doctor Rai Uzo, but the bond between father and son remains. One day, after taking Rai Uzo the lunch that Fusa has made for him as usual, Akiyuki arrives at school, where he is caught up in an explosion along with his friends, Haru and Furuichi. The explosion produces a mysterious light, which enters Akiyuki's arm, causing him excruciating pain. He's given no time to understand it, however, as the white-haired girl who rode on the bus with him guides him to a power unlike anything he's ever known. Jane Chronicle Exodus no Hikari in this anime story set in the land of Yagudo, the people thought that the land they live is the size of the world, but it's actually divided into several areas, each with a respective king. Even though there were small wars among areas, the kings had roundtable meetings to maintain peace and balance. It was until a dark group of dark monsters appeared. See I can no blacksmith in this anime story once upon a time, there was a tragic war in which the power of the devils was involved. After the war, the devil's power was banned and the world was restored to peace. Cicely Campbell is a knight, who has been looking for a blacksmith to repair her old sword given by her father. One day, she saw a man fighting with a ruffian who used the taboo devil's power. The man defeated him with one blow of his weirdly shaped sword. The man turned out to be a blacksmith called Luke. The fateful encounter was the beginning of the adventure. Serious in this anime's story in the year 1930, vampires have infiltrated Tokyo to feast upon its unsuspecting citizens. As the number of victims continues to rise, the city's authorities decide to hire the Jaggers, a strange, diverse group of individuals tasked by the V-Shipping Company to hunt down vampires around the world. Carrying musical instrument cases to disguise their identity, the Jaggers battle the vampires with the same mercilessness demonstrated by their foes. Yuli, the Jaegers' most skilled warrior, is the sole survivor of a vampire raid on his home village. Using the strength granted by his werewolf blood, he works with his team to assist Tokyo's law enforcement with the city's vampire problem. Though under the pretense of helping the police, the Jaggers are actually fighting the vampires over the mystical arc of Sirius. With its power to change the fate of the world, Yuli and his friends must locate the artifact before the vampires can use it to achieve their destructive goals. Don't ni wara in this anime story when swords were outlawed in the 11th year of the Meiji era, the mighty samurai population began to dwindle. Those who rejected the ban on blades rebelled, causing violent unrest to erupt throughout the countryside. To combat the rise in criminal activity, an inescapable lake prison was constructed. Three young men, born of the Kuma line, were given the duty of delivering criminals to their place of confinement, but could there be more to their mission than meets the eye?